Good morning, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really sorry that I missed the upload last week. Basically we had to go home to Wales um, because we're selling our house in Wales. If you haven't seen our house, go back and watch my Christmas video because I showed the house in that video. We're selling our house and we were planning on just going back for the weekend just to like sort things out for the house. And then my mum got COVID so we had to like stay there for a week unintentionally so I didn't have my camera or anything to film so that's why I missed last week's upload so I'm really sorry about that but yeah today I'm gonna vlog this fringe is too long I need to cut it later we were in Wales for a week so we were kind of out of routine and now that we're back I'm gonna try and get back into working out doing some ballet here and there getting back to things because I've had quite a nice long time off now since I graduated so yeah I think it's time for me to start back again so today I'm going to ease myself in slowly I'm starting the couch to 5k so I'm going to start running so I think it'll be really good for my cardio I'm going to log it on my apple watch so I don't know if I showed this I got this as a graduation present because now that I've graduated I'm going to try and track my workouts and fitness a bit more just so that I know that I'm keeping up with everything and so I got an Apple Watch as a graduation pre present from my parents and my lock screen is a cute like aura vibe. So yeah I'm going to use this today. I'm going to start the couch to 5k because I want to start getting back into running. I think it'll be really good for my cardio and just to get out in the morning, get some fresh air. I think it'll be good. So doing that this morning and then later on today we're gonna run some errands we need to do a food shop and we need to do some other bits and bobs i'm gonna say this maybe a bit to my some people but i have decided i'm coming off the pill so i've been on the combined pill since i was about 14 i think because of really really bad periods and like i used to not be able to go to school and stuff i had just really bad periods so i've been on the pill all this time and i've just recently decided from all that time i'm now 21 i kind of want to see what my body's like when i'm not on the pill not putting in like hormones into my body so i've decided i'm going to come off it i haven't been off it obviously all that time and i was taking it back to back so i wasn't having breaks in it so i've decided i'm going to come off it but i'm i'm a little bit worried about how my body's going to react so i'm going to try and just keep an eye on my diet make sure i'm having like i've done a lot of research into what to do like when you're coming off the pill after you've been on it for so long so i'm going to try and eat like an anti-inflammatory diet because it's really meant to be really good for your gut health and your liver health so that will hopefully help a seamless transition coming off the pill because i don't really want to get like acne or like anything like that so yeah i'm just going to be really careful with what i'm eating so that i'm kind of aiding a seamless transition when i'm coming off the pill so i'm going to try and get back into eating a bit better again also to aid now coming off the pill get some supplements so we're going to do a big food shop later i need to do some bits and bobs in town i want to take off my nails so i need to get some like acetone remover and just things like that so i've been rambling for a while now and i've been updating about a lot but yeah that is the plan yeah i'm gonna get dressed now and then i'm gonna do a quick like roll out just to like get my body back into things and yeah i got some new trainers that i'm really excited to wear i haven't worn them yet they're from hoka or hoka i'm really excited to try them so they came when i was away and this is them they're the Clifton 9 I think and they're in like lilac and blue which I think is really cute so I'm gonna try these out on my run and I will let you know what I think of them right so I've got the shoes on and I'm gonna see how they go they feel really comfy so far and like cushioning but we'll see I'm back, kind of regret not flipping back my fringe. That felt good. I feel really hot, look at the colour of my face. It's so red. Um, but that felt nice to run. I haven't run in years, so that felt nice. And the trainers were nice. They were comfy. I feel like, I think I need um, a insole in them because I feel like this part here on the side, my like foot is kind of like digging into that because I'm running on grass so I think I need an insole just to lift it up a bit 
but they're really comfy and they feel light that they're, they're so light they're not like heavy at all but yeah i'm just now going to roll out my mat and just roll out my legs a bit and stretch and then hop in the shower so i'll update you when i'm feeling a bit less sweaty so i'm going to show you a quick haul what i bought when i was away and i'm excited so the first thing is i'm wearing right now is from skims so i had a leftover voucher from my birthday for selfridges and i've been like umming and ahhing of what to spend it on so i decided to invest in some skims i know it's super overpriced but i've been wanting it for ages so i'll show you so i got the tank top and boxer shorts which are so cute I've got them in the gray i love the boxer shorts and then this tank is just so flattering like you don't have to like wear anything underneath it and it's so flattering skims is like so raved about and i can understand why it's literally so comfy so this is one of the first things that i got then let's see i decided i wanted to get a new dance bag because i've been using my gainer minden um, rucksack for ages and it just doesn't really fit that much in because of the structure of it it just doesn't really fit that much and i used to have a kanken bag i don't even i i've never tried to pronounce it i just call it a kanken um i used to have a pink one when i was in school and i decided to get myself a cream one because this would fit so much more in so many more dance shoes and yeah i'm just gonna use this as my new dance bag and i got it on ebay because brand new they're like 90 pounds and I got this on eBay for 30 so I'm really happy with that and it's brand new so I got it in cream and I think this is going to be a really nice dance bag because it's just like a hollow sack basically that you just can fit so much in. I'm going to show you this quickly this isn't something that I bought but it's something that finally arrived. My Middlesex University graduation photo that's so funny. I don't think I ever showed these on a vlog but I got these a while back um, in the Netta Porter sale um, both from the Girlfriend Collective. So I got this sports bra, which is in green, and they were both on sale. And I really like the shape of this. Black is really cute. I've not worn it clearly, but I'm gonna start wearing this now that I'm back and running. And I also got this one from the Girlfriend Collective. How do I show this? Kind of tricky to show. It's round at the front and then the straps cross at the back. And it's like a nice rosy colour, and both of these are so high quality. They feel so thick and soft and i think they're going to be really supportive and girlfriend collective are a fully sustainable brand they make their active wear from recycled materials it says old water bottles and fishing nets so that's a really nice sustainable a couple of sports bras that i got i got some new sun cream because i need to make sure that i keep wearing it every day so i got these from ultra violet brand i've seen it everywhere and they were doing a buy one get one free on their sun cream so i decided to treat myself to two different ones so i got the supreme screen hydrating facial skin screen this is just a lotion kind of one and then this one is a lightweight skin screen but it's like in a serum form so this one has i'll show you the bottle it looks so nice it's like in a little pipette and it's like a serum so super like hydrating and moisturizing and they're both um spf 50 uva and uvb protectants so yeah super good i'm just trying now i've got them both i've got a lot of sunscreen to get through i'm gonna start wearing them every day so yeah that is everything i have to show you right now i think so yeah i'm gonna now i really need to tidy my room it's really messy since coming back because obviously I moved out of the flat in London then I came back and then the next day we went straight to Wales so I didn't have time to sort out my room after coming back from moving out the flat so I need to sort out some of that stuff unpack some boxes and really tidy my room I have a few social media bits I need to film and yeah sorry I feel like this vlog is just me literally like telling you what I'm gonna do because it's such an admin -y day but I'm going to take you to town with me later on when we head to town we're actually heading out later today because we're going to the chiropractor. I need to get my jaw sorted out. I don't know what it is, but my jaw is literally like... Well, when I went to the dentist last, they said that my jaw was like locking and like um, kind of clunking whenever I opened my mouth. My jaw is literally so tight whenever I'm like stressed. I really like clench my jaw. And I think also wearing those masks all that time in class 
I feel like they like really made me like hold my jaw funny because I was wearing a mask. So I'm gonna get my jaw sorted out today at the chiropractor. Very glamorous. So we're gonna head into town around five o'clock later on today because we need to, to go to the chiropractor and run some errands and do some shopping, food shopping for some nice healthy nutritious foods and yeah. Right, so I've had some lunch. I'm going to just get dressed quickly and we're gonna head to town. I'm just gonna show you these trousers because I got these on Vinted and they're really cute. They're from Zara originally. Zara don't sell them anymore and I also didn't really wanna buy brand new from Zara. So this is them. The waistband is really cute. So they're like really cute wide trousers and yeah, I really like how chilled there. I also got another thing through a post from Vinted. These cute shorts from H&M. Cute little striped shorts because I thought they were very Jeff Avenue and obviously I can't afford Jeff Avenue and these were like a couple of quid on Vinted and they're really cute. So hopefully the weather will brighten up again and I'll get a chance to wear these. This is another thing that I got from Vinted. It's a stripe t-shirt from Cos. Classic. Don't have a striped t-shirt. That was from Vinted and obviously Cos is really good quality. My leotard is out the wash that I got on eBay from Yumiko and I'm going to show you. It's so cute. So it's this really nice blue and it's a cute V and then the back is mesh. Cute. And then it's like lilac-y velvet trim and it's really nice. It's a medium, fits really nice, really comfy. I can't believe I got this for 30 quid on eBay and it's still in really good condition. So I'm really happy with this. And yeah, that's the haul. We're off. Probably gonna listen to some Harry Styles. Cause that's the go-to. Like always listen to Harry on the way to town. He's just like, there's just no, no question. happening outside we are back quite late aren't we mousy um so we had a successful trip in town what's the time now oh my gosh i think my watch has run out of charge it's like seven o'clock it's really late and we haven't had dinner or anything <laughs> it's quite late um but we're gonna have dinner now we're having like this we're gonna make like a homemade pesto kind of thing we went to as to Argos and bought like a food process and we're gonna make our own pesto for dinner have it with some pasta but yeah we had a nice time so I'll just go over what we did we got to town and we went to just looked around Zara a bit didn't buy anything walked down the lanes we went to home sense which you would have seen that really cute dog outfit mousy would love it <laughs> yeah they have all the Halloween stuff in home sense and all the autumn candles which smell amazing and then we went to boots then we went down to the pavilion gardens. We sat out and had an iced coffee in the pavilion gardens, which was really nice. You would have seen that. And the weather was really good and it's actually turned really bad now. It's been raining, but lucky when we were out, it was fine. Went to a few shops down in the lane. Oh no, we went to our chiropractor appointment then and she sorted out my jaw a little bit. She like put her finger in my mouth and was like pressing so bad on my like jaw on the inside, like right at the back there where like your wisdom teeth come in and it hurts so bad. Like I literally was like, in so much pain when she was doing it. I'm gonna go back later in the week again to get it done again. Aren't I mousy? That is the day done. So I'm gonna go downstairs now and help make dinner and then we're gonna sit in front of the TV, eat dinner, watch some EastEnders and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> so that's the vlog. Bye! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna get more into routine and you'll see You'll see that I will be getting back into the routine now, doing a bit more dance and a bit more fitness. So yeah, the vlogs will be a bit more proactive now and a bit more um, frequent, hopefully. 
still not got a flat in London, still not found anywhere to live. So I'll be here, staying here for the foreseeable until we find somewhere. But yeah, that is today's video. There's been a lot of chatting. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it's not been too boring, too chatty. But yeah, that was the update. Follow my TikTok if you want to see what I've been up to. I post frequently on there and I'm trying to post more on Instagram, so follow me there too. I'll see you next week. Bye.